Atom. Hey, what's good guys? The clips are here today back with some more One Punch Man. This now a lot of people were talking about, you know, the tier two stuff, and today we'll be checking out the tier two ninja. And all I gotta say, man, the tier two ninjas busted bro this this tier 2 ninjas hella op now the changes to the ninja class are pretty freaking good like okay so the first thing we got the first attack move which is e what happens with this move now is that instead of throwing one shuriken you actually throw out three shurikens now as you can see and the burst damage is crazy because like the shuriken i don't know why but the shurikens on the ninja deal a ton of damage like these deal so much damage, it's insane. Alright guys, and actually now the second ability for the ninja is actually changed as well. Now instead of having like one of those one of those slices, now there's two slices in the air. Like, I don't know what these are called. Like, that thing right there, as you can see. So it actually deals more damage and it has a bigger radius than before. Then the third ability, basically what happens with the third ability is that, um, basically same, you know, same thing as before, just bigger range, more damage. Now, the bigger change for like the ninja class was the e move and the f move the f move which of course is the ultimate for the ninja this move right here that move that move used to be random but now when you're next to someone or like something like an npc or something so it basically locks on to an npc or a player whatever but it's not 100 percent lock on it actually has a chance of locking on to the person or npc so yeah, it's more confirmed to actually hit your target than before. It's not just random, like it'll actually hit your target. And when it when most of them actually hit your target, it deals a ton of damage. Like this thing is hella strong. This move is probably like one of the strongest moves in the game right now. Alright, but you know me guys. The way I like to test my stuff is I like to go fight Boros. So let's go ahead and fight Boros real quick with the ninja class. The ninja class is hella crazy now. Like the shuriken move is so strong, it's insane. The three shuriken moves. Like how it shoots out three shurikens, like it's hella OP. It's better than, like it's better than the Esper ability, man. Like the rock that it shoots out, like it's better than that. Because this thing shoots out three. It's super strong. Okay, Boros is right there. Let me show you guys. So let me activate my mode real quick. There we go. Let me lock on to him real quick. Let me show you guys. Okay, he's actually low on health already. Well, not really low, but like he does have some damage on him. So here, let me use the shuriken move. There you go. Bang. Look at that. Look at this guy's health is going down. Look at that. It's going down by like 200,000 every time. This triple shuriken. And let me show you guys how much, um, uh, let's see how much strength I'm at real quick. Let me stop locking on real quick. So my strength is 14,700,000. And I'm not going to say the rest. So yeah, that's that's what my that's what I'm at. That's how much strength, and I'm dealing that much damage with just one move. You know, 200k damage with just one move, which is really good, and it's a spammable move too, right? So it's really really good. Now, of course, the true test for the ninja class will be begin once we get Boros to his final stage, which is his white form. So yeah, let's go ahead and start DPSing this dude down real quick. Let's start using all the moves. And oh yeah, I want to show you guys actually the ultimate move when I get it back, because I wanted to show you guys how it actually locks on and stuff because it's kind of hard to get it to lock on sometimes because like if you're not fighting anything like it's hard to lock them on i don't know why it's like it's weird it's kind of glitchy or something like that all right here we go i'm gonna use the ultimate move on him right now here we go bang as you guys can see like most of it is targeting him like you guys saw that like some of them actually like locked onto him and like tried to hit him and wasn't just you know randomly just shooting out these uh air slice thingies i don't know what they're called man like someone tell me in the comments if they have a name because i swear they don't have a name slashes i guess i guess they're slashes or something like that but overall man i think ninja just became a way better class than before like it's just way stronger like it was already a pretty good class it was really really strong but now it's just like even stronger the triple shuriken is just like such a great move all right here we go there you go yep he kind of got targeted there, but not really. Those, that, those barely landed. Now, another thing I noticed, guys, is that Ninja is a really good combo with the, with the Stinger Relic. Bro, was that a Meteor? Wow, okay. All right, but what I wanted to say, guys, is that the Stinger Relic is actually a really great combo with the Ninja class. Like, you get so much healing out of it, it's crazy. Like, just from the Triple Shuriken, I can get, like, 3k health back. Let me get, like, take some damage real quick. There you go. Okay, okay. All right, let me try using the shurikens real quick. Let me show you guys real quick. Okay, stop jumping, Burrows. Here we go. Bang. There you go. 2k health back almost. Let's see. Um, when it all lands, there you go. Yeah, I'm getting some good health back. Sometimes almost 2k, sometimes 2k. It's, it's a random kind of, you know, number. 
but it's really good. This whole fight, I literally been like full health because of the Stinger Relic and like the combination with Ninja. Like, I just get so much healing out of it. But I want to see how I can do when he's in final form because you guys know that beating Boros legit, you know, not like teasing and stuff, like keeping distance so he can't hit you and stuff like that is actually pretty hard unless you have like 100 million strength somehow, like some people do. And, you know, I feel like I might actually be able to beat Boros legit without, you know, doing all that cheese stuff. Oh, there we go. That, now the F move locked on. That did a lot of damage. Dang. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, he's almost he's almost at his final form. You need to hurry up and get that. I think he believes he does it at his 3 million or 4 million. I forgot, but somewhere around there he goes into his last form. Alright, yeah, yeah, he's almost there. I think it's 2 million. It might be 2 million. He's almost there and the true test will begin then. There we go. Okay, he's in final form now. There we go. He does his beam attack, of course, which missed. There we go. Now it's time to DPS this guy down. Okay, here we go. So I'm still full health and that's what's up, man. As long as I can still, you know, stay in full health. I'm good. I gotta keep this thing. I gotta make sure I avoid those things because those things are not it, man. Getting hit by those is not it. Like, that deals so much damage. It's not it. Oh my god. The beam, of course. The beam. But, hey, I'm still kind of full health. I'm, well, not really. I'm like quarter. I'm missing quarter health. Oh, he's doing that. You can just regen some health by hitting him. There we go. Okay, I'm actually doing really good right now. I took a lot of damage. Like, I took a lot of health off him already. Like, he went back to 14 mil well not 14 he went back to 11 million and he's already at 8 million point four like yo you're getting dps down my guy oh he's 7.9 now i'm kind of halfway health i gotta do something bro i'm halfway health this is not it i gotta keep spamming my shurikens i gotta get back my health <laughs> i gotta get my health back I gotta dodge these i can't get hit by those i must not get hit by those okay let's go let's go let's go and miss See, this is why the ninja class is good, because then, like, sometimes the attack can't really hit you either. But, of course, another thing that's really good is the, uh, you know, the Dark Esper class, because the Dark Esper has a lot of critical, you know? Oh, I'm literally about to beat this guy. He's already at 4 million health, and I'm doing good right now in health and everything. Like, I'm doing really well right now. This might be it. This might be the class where I beat Boros legit. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta dodge those, gotta dodge those. Yeah, we dodged those. There we go. He's at... Okay, yeah, he's about to die. Yep. This is a dub. This is an easy dub. I already know. Yeah, this is a huge dub. That's what I'm talking about. He's almost down. He's almost down. Look at that. Oh, I, I should not use the F move, but whatever. He's almost dead. Yep. There we go. I'm gonna end, I want to end it off with only shurikens. I'm going to keep spamming shurikens at him. There we go. And... Oh, look at that. And... Oh, no. He jumped. Okay, here we go. Bang. Come on, shuriken. Land. Land. What? He's still alive? Almost dead. There we go. I got him. Let's get it. All right. I killed Boros with the ninja class. Finally, I actually soloed him this time with the ninja class. And like the whole time, like I wasn't to the point where I'd actually almost died. Like this was really, really good. The stinger, the stinger relic does come in clutch, man. Big clutch. All right. Now I got to go around PVP. I want to, I want to find some people to PVP, you know, look around for an X class or something like that. Cause you know, I want to, I want to PVP. I want to try out the class, you know, fight some other people that are you know just as strong as me or maybe stronger and you know pvp and stuff like that because last time i tried pvp and the dude ran from me for like 50 minutes but i still killed him though i still got the satisfaction oh yeah a lot of you guys in my comment section were asking me where to get my this armor right here this vegeta armor i'm gonna show you guys two secret spots right now like i'm literally about to show you guys two secret spots so right here this is where the abnormals are um, one of the secret shops are actually over here. So you just go there in the corner and there you go. You could get uh, that armor right there and that armor from Vegeta. There you go. It's a secret shop. So it's pretty easy guys. Just go in this corner right here and you could like get the store, get to the store and all that. And then another one is literally right here as well. Like they're right next to each other. You can't miss them. Uh, where is it? Uh, hold on a minute. I'm kind of kind of forgot where it was. I think it's around over here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Okay. The other secret shop is right here, guys. You know, we got Kaneki's armor. Though This one, this one looks pretty good, bro. What the heck? Let me get this real quick. Hold on. Let me get that. Punisher? That looks pretty nice. Okay, let me check out how it looks. Yo, I look pretty cool. Okay. All right. But yeah, guys, this is where you get the... Uh, the, the, the clothes I got, you know, that's what I'll be wearing. All right, guys, so I made it to a new server, and this is what I'm talking about, man. X plus plus auto clicking, bro. Like, I'm trying to, like, PvP you. Come on, man. <laughs> I can never find an X plus plus that's, like, not auto clicking. I have such bad luck in that. 
Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video right there because I've been searching around for some PvP for a bit now for like 20 minutes. I still couldn't find any bit of PvP nowhere. Everyone's just AFK on this game. This is literally AFK simulator, auto-clicking simulator. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.